Kagurabachi. Let's eat. Char, before you eat, let's look at that alley of yours. It's better already, see? Mm-hmm, good as new. And nobody saw? Yup. Rub, rub. We'll have to be more careful once you start school. Why can't we let anyone see? Well, if a bad person found out about your special power, they might try to use it to do bad things. Got that? You can never tell anyone, unless it's somebody very, very special to you. Did you tell anyone, Mama? Just once. Someone I loved. Your father. Huh? But that person got scared and ran away. That's why you have to choose very carefully, so you don't end up like me. So I don't end up like you, Mama? You aren't happy, Mama? No, I'm not just happy because I have you, Char. I'm the happiest person on the planet. Pichoo! Now let's eat. Eat, eat! Dong, ding. <sighs> Sorry, Char. I'll put an end to it all. Kudo. Scatter. Nice show. You think that scares me? In your condition, you couldn't hurt a fly. Huh? Cutting iron gauntlets? What? Just in a single cut? No, not a single cut. But these mini kudo attacks, it's like a hot knife through butter. It uses the same amount of spirit energy as a regular kudo, but it's not as strong. In favor, it allows for more compact, rapid slashes. Kudo scatters a school of tiny kudo. Chihiro didn't hit him with a single slash, but a combination of 20 mini attacks. In exchange for rampant spirit energy consumption, it enables high-powered compact swings without taxing the body. He didn't create it from a, from a place of logic. Instead, it was a sudden breakthrough to compensate for his ravaged body. Created by instinct, and in that state of extreme concentration, his innate understanding was accelerated. Nishiki, he's gone. <laughs> Eating of the flesh of the Kyonagi clan will make you immortal. Over a decade ago, not long after the war, when those rumors spread that Kyonagi's colony was ravaged, the whole clan was exterminated. It was quite the story. But just the other day, a certain man showed up with information to sell. At the time of the massacre, a single girl escaped. She was 13 years old back then. She now lives in secrecy with a child of her own. Through your own lived experience, it should have been obvious that bl this blood of yours comes with a steep price. But it seems you were blinded by the chance at happiness and spawned another of your kind into this hell of a world. <sighs> well, for my part, I appreciate having an additional sample. <sighs> All because of my blood. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I weren't your mother, you could have had a happy life. Squeeze. I am happy. Mama, I... Rub, rub. I'm okay because I'm with you, Mama. <laughs> Come to think of it, this kid's mom was pretty reckless. Yeah, true. It was pretty impressive when she escaped her cell. She stole a key from the guard, right? Killed a bunch of guys. Why? Mama, open it. There's only an arm left. Hey, they escaped. The lab rats are loose. Mama, you had to come with me. I searched everywhere. This is the only place where the security's legs. I can't fit through here. I'm sorry. I can't go with you. I'll stay here to fight them off. Then I'm staying too. No, Char, I want you to live a happy life. <laughs> I'm already happy. I don't mind being here. I just want to be with you, Mama. I said no. There's no way you're staying here. Hey, there she is. Open up. Char, please go. 
Move! I'll bust it down! But, Mama, I need you! That woman torched the equipment! She stole matches from the guards. Burned up a few of the researchers, too. I'm sorry, but it'll be okay after all. You're the one who taught me. But it didn't take long to rebuild the equipment. And we got the kid back, too. Let me know if there's even the slightest change. I'll handle him. Huh? Hey. He's outside! In the garden! Did you hear that? He's outside! Hey! It was all in vain. Your mother's death, your escape, all of it! Hey! They're all dead! Huh? For real? I can't believe he's still at it! Doesn't matter, it's been a while since we've had a chance to cut loose. <laughs> Demon Cloak. After all, you're the one who taught me. Even after hitting rock bottom, if you just hang in there. You hungry? This time, it's not squashed. You can still become the happiest person on earth. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> Squish. Damn, he fucking decapitated both these guys. I wanted to see what they could do. The demon cloak was pretty cool. Well, there it is. Chapter 15. A banger of a chapter. Very cool. What did you guys think about that one? If you guys enjoyed that, remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment what you think about 